Hi, my name is Brian Smith. In this video, we're going to cover how to build a rel for edge image using the image builder, and then how to configure a container to serve that image over HTTP. rel for edge uses RPM OS tree images, and these images can be created with image builder on a rel 8.3 or later system. In a future video, I'll cover some of the unique features of rel for edge It's recommended to use image builder on a dedicated virtual machine that is used exclusively for image builder. For more information, please refer to the RHEL 8 documentation. To start, I'll show that I'm on a RHEL 8.3 system. And in order to use the image builder on RHEL 8.3, we'll need to install several packages, including OS Build Composer, Composer CLI, Cockpit Composer, and the Bash Completion packages. This will take a couple of minutes, so I'll go ahead and skip ahead until this is done. OK, the packages are now installed. And we'll need to start and enable the OS Build Composer socket as well as the cockpit.socket. Once that's done, we can open a web browser and go to localhost on port 9090. And then I'll go ahead and accept the cell sign certificate and then log into the web console. Once logged into the web console, I can click on the image builder in the menu on the left. Then I'll go ahead and click on the dots in the upper right and then click on manage sources. By default, the AppStream and BaseOS repositories are available to use in the Image Builder, and it's also possible to add additional sources if there are other repositories you'd like to be available. I'll go ahead and click on the Create Blueprint button, and in this example, I'm going to name it RHEL Edge Test. And at this point, the system is going to query the configured BaseOS and AppStream sources that we saw on the previous screen, which took about 30 seconds on my system. In this example, I'd like to add the corn shell package to my blueprint, so I'll search for KSH. And once that package is found, I can go ahead and click on the plus sign to add it into my blueprint. I'd also like to have the tmux package, so I'll go ahead and search for that. And then once it's found, I'll click on the plus sign to add it to my blueprint as well. Okay, next, I'll go ahead and click on the commit button, and then click on commit again on the next screen here. Now, I'll click on my blueprint name, rel edge test, at the top of the screen. I'll then click on the Create User Account button and specify the name of the account is test underscore IB. I'll also select that this account should be a server administrator and specify a password for the account and then click on Create. Okay, at this point we're ready to create the image, so I'll go ahead and click on the Create Image button and I'll set the image type to rel for edge commit. If this new image was going to be an update to an existing image, I would list the existing image's commit as a parent commit to this new image. In this example, this is a brand new image, so I'll leave the parent commit blank. I can also optionally specify a ref for this image. If you leave this blank, it will default to rel slash eight slash the architecture slash edge. In this example, we'll leave it blank and stick with that default ref. I'll go ahead and click on create and then click on the link to the queue to see the status. On my system, it takes around 10 to 15 minutes to create a rel for edge image. The amount of time it takes to create the image will vary depending on the speed of your system and storage and the number of packages that you've added into the image. Okay, at this point, the image was successfully built and I'll go ahead and download the image. We'll switch back to the command line where I'm logged in as an unprivileged user named Brian. To install a rel for edge system using this image, we'll need to serve the image we just created over HTTP. There are several ways that this could be done, but in this example, we'll create a container to host the image using the UBI8 container image and the HTTPD web server. I'll start by creating a new directory named edge, and then I'll go ahead and move that image tar file that I just downloaded from the web console into this new directory. And then I'll go ahead and extract that tar file. The extracted image will contain files under the repo directory, as well as the compose.json file. The compose.json file will contain the ref for the image, which we'll need to refer to later in the kickstart file. In this example, we're using the default ref, which is rel slash 8 slash x86 underscore 64 slash edge. And we could have specified a custom ref in the image builder if we had wanted to. This file also includes the OS tree commit hash, which is what we would use as the parent commit in the image builder if we built a new version of this image in the future. The OS tree commit hash is also the hash that will be shown once we install a rel for edge system and run RPM OS tree status. 
I can also query the image to get a list of packages that are included in it by using the rpm os tree db list command and specifying the ref for the image and the repo directory name. I'll rerun that command and grep for the corn shell and tmux packages to validate that the image builder added them to the image, which it did. I'll need to use a kickstart file when building my rel for edge host. I'm using this basic kickstart file. It will create a new user named test underscore ks and it also has a OS tree setup line that refers to the ref name for my image, as well as a URL that the image is available at. Note that the 192.168.122.106 IP address listed here is the IP address of the system I'm on, and the container I'll be starting will be configured to serve content over port 8000. To build the actual container image, I'll use this Docker file. The container will be based on the Red Hat UBI8 image, and when I build the container image, I'll be able to pass the kickstart file name and the rel for edge tar file image name that we created previously with the image builder. The httpd package will be installed, and the kickstart file will be copied to slash var slash www slash html, and the image file will also be extracted to that same directory. I'll expose port 80 and set the container's command to be httpd. I'll build the container image using a podman build command. I'll specify the commit argument and set it to the tar file that I previously downloaded from the image builder. And I'll set the kickstart argument to the kickstart file that I previously displayed. I'm going to name the new container image edge httpd and then the first eight characters of the commit tar file name. I'll go ahead and skip the video ahead until the image has been created. Okay, the image built successfully, and I can run Podman Images, which shows the new image. I'll go ahead and run a container using the image I just created, and I'll forward port 8000 on the host into port 80 in the container. Remember that our kickstart file specified that the OS tree content would be available on port 8000. I'll name the container edge dash, and then the first eight characters of the commit tar file name. Let's open a shell in the container with Podman exec and I'll go ahead and list out the contents of the slash var slash www slash html directory. And as you can see, it contains the kickstart file as well as the contents of the extracted image tar file that we had previously downloaded from the image builder. I'll go ahead and exit out of the container, and then the final step will be to open the firewall on port 8000. In this video, I covered how to build a rel for edge image using the image builder and how to prepare a container to serve the image over HTTP. In the next video, I'll cover how to actually go through a rel for edge OS install on a new host using the image we created in this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.